Hello, my name's Kath and I'm one of the trainers here at Software of Excellence. In this short video clip, you will learn how to create a contact list and send multiple emails. To start, we need to identify whether you have the contact list icon on your workspace. If you don't, then you have two options. You can click on administration, contact lists, or with a right mouse click and click on the word customize, you can identify your contact list from the left hand panel and using the arrows to the right, move it across to the right hand side. So just to demonstrate that, I will remove mine from my list. So this left hand column is everything that is available to me. And this right hand column is everything that I currently have on my workspace, which is this bar across the top here. So I'm going to highlight contact list and click on the arrows to the right. Now the contact list will always be popped at the bottom of the screen, as would any other option that you choose from the left hand panel. Now to move this further up the, the screen, highlight and click on the arrows upwards until you find the place where you wish your contact list to appear. And by clicking on the OK button, this now puts contact lists onto my screen. So now we have the contact list in your workspace. You can click on the contact list and at the bottom right hand of the screen, create a list. When you click on the create list button, you're displayed another pop-up box. And at the end of that box is a list symbol. And when you click on it, you will then see a list of all of your previously preset templates. If the one you're looking for exists in here, then you can highlight and click on OK, and it will then use that particular template. To create a new one, click on the plus one button at the bottom right hand corner, add a description, Once you've given it a description, you then need to add a query template. Now, a template or a query is something that interrogates the computer system and it will go off and search for information related to that particular condition. So we're going to create a list of our current patients. So we need to look for a, a query that we can use. And if I click on the insert button at the bottom of the screen, I can see a long list of all the options I can choose from. So what we're looking for is a list of active patients. And so I'm going to use this query here, which is a check in inactive. Now by highlighting and clicking on the OK button, it now gives me an option. Now, I'm not looking for patients with a check in inactive because that means they're not current patients. But what I can do is choose the option patient without a check in the inactive box. And that will give me all of my current patients. Once I've added the query in and I click on the OK button, that has now given me a new list to choose from. To run this list, click on the OK button. And it's always worth putting a description in. So I'm going to put in here all current patients as at the 5th of the 5th 20. Use list for appointment booking. I will come back to this in a late, at a later stage. Um, so leave that unticked for now and just click on the OK button. And now it's actually generating a list for me, which says I have 31 patients. So in order to see those patients on that list, I need to answer yes to the question, do you want to create this list? So now I can see everybody in my list. The next step 
is to create the email that you wish to send to all of these patients. So at the bottom right hand corner of the screen, I can see an email symbol. And when I click on it, it allows me to choose some different option types. So we want to send multiple emails because we're sending the same one to everybody on the list. But if I've got any family members who are grouped together, if I tick the box, it will send one email. And I want to be able to see who I've emailed. So tick the box that says tick as complete when emailed. Now, when I click on the OK button, it offers me a list of options. And if you look at the statement at the top, it clearly says if you want to contact the full list of patients, simply untick all the available options. So we're just going to take all the ticks out of the box. And then we're going to click on the OK button. This now takes me into a screen where I need to be able to choose my email template. Click into the box, click on the list symbol, and I'm going to use appointment reminder as my template. With it highlighted, click the OK button and click the OK button again. Now it's brought me up the actual contents of my email. So I'm just going to have a quick look at that. And if I needed to change any of the information, then I can amend. And once I've made all of the amendments and checked for um, spelling and grammar, then I can click on the send button. The send will activate the um, transmission of the emails and it will run through fairly quickly. So click on the send button. And what I can see left on my screen are those patients who do not have an email address. So I will need to decide what I'm going to do to contact those patients. At the bottom left of the screen, if I tick the box show completed, now I can see a list of everybody who has been sent an email. And that concludes this short video. Thank you for watching.